yeah, today we're gonna take a look at Mecha Godzilla 24 inch long head to tail. So yeah, I'm pretty much doing this review just to celebrate my 8 year anniversary on YouTube. Holy crap, I'm getting old. And considering Godzilla is almost gonna turn, well, 60th anniversary, I think? Yeah, it pretty much it is. Well, no, 70! Holy shit! And of course, I literally reached 2,500 subscribers, which... Holy crap, thank you all so much! So, I pretty much wanted to do this review, because, well, it is Godzilla 2014. But literally in scale with my 1954 Godzilla from Essex Monsters because let's just say Godzilla in 1954 was 50 meters and this is 108 don't believe me this fits well this scales pretty accurate how Godzilla from 1954 scales with well with this big boy and consider I literally got them at the same time in 2018, when I literally ordered them at Big Bad Toy Store. I was so damn hyped. I mean, who would it be? This is literally one of the most impressive giant Godzilla figures out there that is so hyper-posable. And the paint apps and the sculpting of this NECA figure is just outstanding. I just cannot fathom. How much of impressive work they put into this goddamn beast. But let's not uh, just uh, suck this guy off and let's just continue with the criticism. My copy kind of got a... Um, yeah, I got this out of the box and one of his dorsal spines was... Had a big QC issue. But then again, it is pretty accurate on the novel, sequel novel after 2014, where the Prime literally... Well, destroyed his dorsal spines, and we get the uh, infamous uh, classic Godzilla 1954 spines that he later got on. And of course, um, as you all can see, I pretty much uh, changed the eyes just to make them a little bit more, well, less crocodilian. And if you saw one of my older videos, which, uh, yeah, I literally did custom paint him, I literally got rid of the crocodile eyes and literally gave him pupil. It ain't perfect, but hey, I can literally give or take. And of course, I kind of did a little bit more wash of the gray, just because I wasn't really a fan of the, uh, the greenish uh, gray wash that they had. Kind of looked a little bit too wet, but don't know how to put it on the camera, but if you can see, yeah, there is some little bit wash of green, which ain't a big deal. Though, the biggest criticism that we all can agree on is the tail attachment. Now, the in the instructions, you literally had to heat them up in the, with the tail, but also you had to be careful when you attach it because uh, right here is a certain uh, important piece that you need to be careful. And of course, I did, but of course I did kind of did a stupid thing and kind of shaved it off, so now it kind of uh, come off a little bit too easily. But without balance, it should be stay on pretty fine. And the, the reason being is uh, there's a hidden button here, which if you see here, it is right here. And once you push it, and of course it requires free, well, free AR, free LR44 batteries. Because once you press this dorsal pine, Dorsal spine. Oh, wait, here it is. Wait, not this one. It's this one right here. And under here, underneath, it is a speaker. And once you press it, you get the Godzilla 2014 roar. I fucking love pressing this button so many times. Though I also kind of changed the batteries afterwards because uh, when I got them from 2018 to 2023 in summer, right in summer 2023, the battery died. And uh, I had to change the batteries. And now I can finally do the roar. But anyway, 
Uh, it also doesn't come with an accessory at all. But it doesn't really matter because I'm made of one of my own. So yeah. Now for the overall articulation of this Godzilla, the jaw is on a hinge joint. The, he has a double kind of ball joint on the neck. I hope, yep. A double joint ball joint on the neck. And some people say that this neck piece is just on a swivel, but this is a misconception because it is not. It's actually on a double ball joint system. So if you think it actually is just on a swivel, then you haven't uh, really tested your figure a little bit. And I also need to remove the tail just to show off the articulation. So you can get a lot of motion of this guy. Which nobody has really tested on, but me. And to prove the myth that he actually has a ball joint, and it did. And of course, they has a ball joint system on the uh, the shoulder here, which can go 360 degrees, can go in and out. It has a bicep rotation, and of course, uh, a elbow joint that goes 90, and of course, a ball joint that wrists. And of course the waist also, oops, ah, it doesn't matter, it also has a double ball joint at the waist which can go rotated and all that sort of stuff. And it can do an up crunch but of course there's uh, my gap but you can cover it up a little quick which is nice. And of course the face is also on a kind of uh, ball joint system which you can shift and it will literally make it look a little bit more organic than usual. But it can rotate all that sort of stuff with 360 degrees and it kind of looks weird but again you have the ball joint system so it doesn't matter. And it actually is kind of fun to move around and mess around with this guy. Also need to really got to stop doing this. Anyway he has a... <coughs> hold on. <coughs> okay. One, two, three, four, sort of four clicky joints to do this to get a bend of the knee. And of course, he has a pivot that is on a ball joint and rotation. And you can also plug a neck kind of display stand if you get him balanced, which how the hell are you supposed to do with this kind of big fella? And of course, the 13 segmented tail that literally beat the other 6 inch Godzillas to the game. And this is the reason why I got this because I absolutely love the ball jointed tail this guy had better than the just bandy wire tip that the rest had. Until 1962 came with the actual fully ball jointed tail. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. 2014 24 inch long did beat the game early on. And I kind of said that they didn't make more of these because this is actually quite impressive. I honestly would have loved to see a 24 inch or actually even longer a kind of a 12 inch tall up to the head instead of just 6 inch for a Shin Godzilla. That would have been awesome. But in the end we never got a neck guy. Shin Godzilla 24 inch or 30 long, inch long Shin Godzilla, which is a shame. Anyway, size comparison. Here we have it next to 1954, which is a proper scale for me. And if you say otherwise, I don't care. Here we have him next to Yolo Park Soul Skill Optimus Prime from the movie Bumblebee. There we go, I should have used that kind of feature to just have the light in the background. And yeah, now it actually looks a little bit brighter. But yeah, same size, but Godzilla is a little bit more mass and actually more awesome looking. No, stand about, stand about just to get this guy a little bit more a chance. Wait, why do I have a deja vu again? But yeah, Godzilla is bigger. Never mind. And here he is next to Avon Unit 1, which is the perfect perfect grade. And here we have the model kit of uh, Kiryu. Hiatus Godzilla's Figma Doom Slayer and of course Well Flame Toys RC and you can see that Godzilla is the quite a massive boy But the big boy still goes to late legacy Titan class Metroplex But I still prefer Godzilla because he's cheaper or maybe was 
Well, in the end of the game, in the end of the game, the uh, NECA Godzilla 24 inch long is still one of my favorite Godzilla figures I have owned in my collection. And I highly pick it, recommend you guys. And I highly recommend people to get this figure if it's still available because uh, the aftermarket is still pretty damn fucked. But still, no, no matter if the NECA pretty much have uh, pretty much stop making Godzilla figures this one still is the holy grail of Godzilla figures in my honest opinion because this guy is truly massive and honestly made me real really love the scale accuracy of Godzilla figures especially when I have the 1954 Godzilla because you know what they say S size doesn't matter but in Godzilla's case size does matter because he truly is the king of the monsters. And also because I want this goddamn looking cool looking thumbnail.